So in this installment of um, the Open Ask Cat Stories, I wanted to revisit um, the hydraulic jack bearing problem that we solved last time around, um, and just relook at it from a, a, a code refactoring point of view. As you as you will know, Open Ask Cat is just a piece of code um, that you, you that will essentially represent your your canvas or your cat drawing so given that you should be able to refactor it just like you would any other piece of code and and it's quite a a, a great and very important principle when it comes to software development so let's look at this so when you look at this little routine and if you scroll down and you look at this that they, they, they 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 looking strikingly similar and I suppose that's your point of departure here so what we want to do is just um, um, take advantage of open sketch functionality in its current form and yes we you know we can do uh, with more sort of functionality we can do more with sort of object-oriented uh, programming paradigm in open sketch and I know that um, the JavaScript implementation is, is is doing well in that area. It, well, at least not as well as it should, but sufficiently well. Um, so let's see what we can do with the tools we've got. So I'm gonna just cut out, cut everything out into Notepad plus plus, so that this this is just back back to bare bones. So we've cut that out. Uh, let's look at this module. We can cut it out. Um, yeah, that we can cut out. So that all we all we left with is just um, this now. Given this, so what we want to do, what we want to do next, is perhaps draw the six cylinders at certain um, spots, which is sixty degrees apart, around this. Uh, so to do that, again, we're going to bring back some of the code that we had. So let's bring it right back. Um, I think we had something like this, or cylinder. So if we bring this back, and instead of drawing a circle, we can draw a cylinder. Yep. So we draw a cylinder of height. So our cylinder needs to have this particular height. There we go. Simple as that. So now we've got the cylinder. Actually, there's a spelling mistake there. Doesn't matter. Right. So, so, so now we're drawing these six. What if we don't have to repeat this? How would we engineer this so that we don't have to keep doing exactly the same thing? So the first protocol, as you might have guessed, is well, let's put this into a module. Um, so draw let's call it draw around because really that's what it's doing is drawing six of these around a particular angle um, or a particular uh, radius so if we did this we should still be able to let's not call it yet we should still be able to call it there. Right? If we call it, we get the same output. What I wanted to talk about today is a concept of children. So instead of doing this, you can say, well, I want to draw your help to spell children correctly. I want to be able to draw any child that I pass to you. See what I just did that? Instead of instead of hard coding what 
you want this to happen to you can just say generically anything that gets passed to you do all of this and I am now saying do it to the cylinder and it's actually doing it um, and we'll, we'll, I'll show you just where we can harness the power of this and, and, and maybe I can show it to you now say you had something else that you wanted to 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 go around um, let's just quickly have a look say you had a sphere that you wanted to see go around and there's our sphere okay and if I wanted to draw the sphere exactly the same pattern exactly the same way I just do this now you can see I've got a bunch of spheres essentially going around as well yeah now again I can see they popping down that way I could just translate so let's just translate and we're gonna translate by this radius and this is this will be across the z-axis um, this is quite big yeah there we go yeah so and, and this is this is the power of open SCAD. you can repeat a particular subroutine um, and it can substitute whatever objects you are repeating the subroutine on and you don't have to rewrite it necessarily um, and really that's the power of reusability that comes with open SCAD. so having summarized an entire um, 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 canvas into these lines of code you can sort of see where you can take this now so you could essentially say well um, these two these two I can union yep and this one is kinda separate where am I going with this if I hold on let me do this way. If I do a difference, difference. If I do difference, I it'll be a difference of a difference of everything, and then you cut out uh, the little bearing balls um, around, and essentially that gives you your drawing. So to summarize code reusability we factored things that seem to do exactly the same thing um, what we then did is we can either pass parameters to influence how this happens or we can say do it to any child that's being passed to it and the child the first child was a cylinder and it got drawn six time the second child was um, this sphere which is also drawn uh, six times and, and and remember you a child could be both of these it's not just a sphere it's a sphere plus its translation that is being done six um, six times over in terms of the actual 60 degree angle rotation so I hope um, you found this interesting and uh, thanks for joining see you next time cheers